Wong People Chinese Lion Dance Group performing at Club Mead. More on Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month in a moment. Hello and welcome to a Memorial Day weekend edition of Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, a Canadian invasion and an extended look at this year's Massing of the Colors. These stories and more, but first, Memorial Day weekend is the traditional start of summer and the 101 days of summer safety. We spoke with Kirk Fector, the Installation Safety Officer at this year's Safety Health and Wellness Expo. I want to welcome everyone um, because this is a great day. And uh, growing up, we call this a smorgasbord. Now it's uh, on the East Coast, it's a buffet. So you come here and you get a little bit of everything. And you get to spend time and look at those things that interest you. That's better than a PowerPoint briefing that people sometimes fall asleep in. So uh, we like to do this also at this time of year because we're kicking up uh, the 101 days of summer safety. So all those kind of things, uh, recreational things, hiking, swimming, uh, we also like to emphasize those. So uh, we're really pleased uh, uh, every year to do this and we look forward to doing it next year and the years uh, to come. Meanwhile, the Defense Media Activity and the Fort Meade Garrison Equal Opportunity Office hosted this year's Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Observance at Club Mead. A big highlight, a performance by the Wong People Chinese Lion Dance Crew. This year's guest speaker, Lieutenant Colonel Hyo Jin Cho, a 15-year Army veteran currently serving in the active reserve as Supply Branch Chief for the National Guard Bureau. During her presentation, she credited diversity as a key to her unit's success. So I have DA civilians, I have contractors, and I have military members, both enlisted and officers. I have members that served in the military, and I have members that never served in the military before. And of course, and I have members that served in the National Guard and not never been in the National Guard before. So I don't say this because this is my branch, but I believe uh, our branch is very successful because everyone brings something to the table. In other news, 57 young Canadians, Royal Canadian Army Cadets, made a stop at Fort Meade on their recent tour of the Washington, D.C. area this week. I spoke with their commanding officer who explained the cadet program. The Canadian Cadet Program is a youth program through the Department of National Defense of Canada. Um, it uh, has youth from 12 to 18 years of age join. It involves all three elements of the Canadian Forces, so we have our Sea Cadets, Army Cadets and Air Cadets. Each element obviously has specialty areas in, the, in their element of training. Uh, the Army Cadet obviously focuses on more Army things, they'll do the Lab sailing, canoeing, rock climbing, expedition training, air does more of the flight stuff and then we'll have the sea cadets that get very involved with more of the sea factors of the element. Cadets toured Fort Meade receiving a working dog demonstration, visited the Cryptologic Museum and had lunch at the Freedom Inn. The cadets are from Hastings, Canada in the province of Ontario. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. We close with scenes from the 33rd Annual Massing of the Colors. Held in conjunction with the Military Order of the World Wars, it also serves as Fort Meade's Memorial Day observance. This year, 47 color guards from across the state participated. Grand Marshal this year, 99-year-old Lieutenant Colonel Alfred Shehab, a veteran of the Battle of the Bulge. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great Memorial Day weekend and a great Mead Week. Jewish War Veterans, Department of Maryland, Color Guard. The Veterans of Foreign Wars, Post 7757, Color Guard. 